What up guys, David here, InsaneAthlete.net. Just got another video. Uh, today we're gonna be covering the progression of a push-up. Push-ups, really great exercise. They're also fairly challenging, especially for beginners. Those are just starting to work out. I don't recommend them if you have any issues with your shoulders, any rotator cuff stuff like that. Uh, you should definitely consult with a doctor before trying any of these out. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and work from the ground up. The very first exercise you should perform uh, just to work your way up to being able to do a standard push-up uh, being straight legged on the ground. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Alright, so rather than being on your knees, which is what most people would think of the first way of getting better at push-ups, you're actually the best way uh, for those who are very, very new and beginners is to start off with a wall push-up. So you're just going to find a wall and you're just going to bring your hands nice and straight about shoulder width apart or slightly wider. Um, different grip width or hand positioning is going to emphasize different muscle groups. But I just recommend starting off just right, right above, maybe slightly wider than shoulder width. You want your shoulders to be slightly over your hands, so you don't want your hands too high, and you also don't want too low. You want a nice hand position, and you also don't want to flare your shoulders out. Your elbows do not want to flare out. You want to make sure that they're at least somewhat tucked in. That is going to put your shoulder in a good position, and you are going to be nice and stable. You're just going to lower yourself into the wall, nice and controlled, engage your core, and then you're going to extend your arms, straighten out everything, keeping your core nice and tight. Really engage your chest, start off nice and slow and controlled, work your way up to being able to do 12 to 15 repetitions. So after you get good at the wall push-ups, the second thing you're going to want to start to do is to work your way to more of a decline. So Rather than being completely upright, you're going to actually have a slight bend now. So you're going to find a power rack or a sturdy uh, surface that is above you or above the ground, off of the ground. And now you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to push right down, all the way down. If your chest can touch whatever surface, even better. Come on up. And then bring it down nice and controlled. This is going to be slightly more challenging than the wall push-up, which is what we're aiming for. All right, so some of you may actually just be able to go right into push-ups on your knees. Others may have to start off with those exercises I showed earlier in the video. So knee push-ups, a really great way of building strength to being able to do standard push-ups. So a few different things. You may want to have your legs crossed over or you can have them straight up. You don't want your legs, your lower leg, to be on the ground like this. You want them in the air, straight up. The other thing is you don't want your hips in a flexed position like this. You want to make sure your hips are extended and everything is in a nice, straight line. You want to make sure everything in here is nice and engaged and tight. The next thing is you want to make sure you have full range of motion. Full range of motion is one of the most important things in building strength to do a push-up. So when you come down, you don't wanna just stop right here and then come up. You wanna make sure you go all the way down to the ground. If you need to rest here, once you start to get tired, that's totally fine. If you wanna start from here, that's okay too. But you just wanna emphasize that full range of motion coming all the way down to the ground, your chest, touches the mat, that's totally fine. And you're just gonna come right back up. Notice how I'm not flaring out my elbows. My elbows are fairly tucked in. Once again, just to review, that just keeps my shoulder in a good position and helps avoid injury, strengthens the muscles we're trying to work. Start off nice and slow, work your way up to being able to do 12 to 15 repetitions. After you start to build strength and get good at those knee push-ups that we just did, you're gonna to wanna to start doing decline push-ups. So you're gonna find an elevated surface, similar to the second exercise I showed you, but now the surface is much lower to the ground. Something like a bench is probably ideal. So you're gonna have nice straight legs. Once again, hips are not in a flexed position and they're also not arched. 
You don't want your arch, your back in an arch. You want everything nice and flat, core tight and engaged. Come all the way down. If your chest can touch the bench, great. And then come just nice and controlled. Make sure your core is tight. Work your way up, 12 to 15 reps. So now that you've gotten good at those decline push-ups, you're pretty much ready to be able to perform standard push-ups. So how that looks, feet are gonna just be nice and straight. Everything is nice and tight. Do not arch your back. Do not retract your shoulder blades as you come down. Keep everything in a nice stable position. Do not do half repetitions. These do not count. Come all the way down to the ground and then right back up. This is much more challenging than people give credit for. Start off nice and slow. Increase your repetitions to being able to do 12 to 15. Once you're able to do sets of 12 to 15, you're probably at a point where you need to start including assistance movements. Be sure to stay tuned for future videos showing you how to get better at push-ups. It's flashing, ready, go. Anyhow guys, that concludes this video. Hope you guys took something away from it. Hopefully you guys are gonna be able to do some push-ups with good form, good technique. Uh, let me know how that all goes. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys around. Well, I bet you that I get the last laugh. Bet you that my funeral's packed in the tune you all blast. It's my crew shit, new shit, or old, it don't matter. Boat, I get swolled in the zone where you gather. I'm alone, but together with the folks. Not really knowing where I'm going, but my goal's to provoke thoughts. Devote locks, show some fools the ropes to hop. Scope the top from above it, love it, then leave it alone. 